Amen. 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 Shall we say a very big amen? amen? I thought that Elder was going to introduce our dear brother Alex. But may I take this opportunity to introduce you? Amen. It's a great joy. I don't know about whatever I see him. It is a great joy. He has a wonderful spirit. God bless you. Happy New Year. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we give a wave offering unto our living God? Hallelujah. We thank God for how far he has brought us. And tonight, he is going to give us his word. The word that we that will carry us through in the coming year, 2017. As I was waiting upon the Lord, the message that God granted me for me to share with you is entitled, In 2017, with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. In 2017, with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. Hallelujah. I want you to turn and tell somebody, in 2017, with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. It shall be accomplished. It is not by might, not by power, by the Spirit of God. Emmanuel means God with us. So with God on our side, it shall be accomplished. Hallelujah. Because we know that he who has done a good work in our lives, he is more than able to bring it to that expected end. And I want to encourage you. In 2017, with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. Amen. Amen. Let us read quickly from Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Remember the topic. In 2017, with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. Amen. And I read Luke 1 45. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those, those things which were told her from the Lord. Amen. And so blessed are you that you believe that indeed with Emmanuel it shall be accomplished. The main theme scripture is taken from Isaiah and we will draw very much in this verses. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 through to 13. Isaiah chapter 55 reading from verse 10 through to 13. And I read once again. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth the bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes forth from me from my mouth it shall not return to me void and hear this but it shall accomplish but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Verse 12. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of thorn shall come up the cypress tree. And instead of bell shall come up the mother tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall be cut off. Amen. Amen. And the final scripture is taken from Philippians 1 verse 6. Philippians 1 6. Be confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day 
of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. 2017 with Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word, the English word accomplished means is to carry out or complete something or a task successfully. Therefore, if God says that this year, the coming year 2017, with him on our side, it shall be accomplished, that means he is going to finish the task successfully. Amen. Whatever be your heart desire that you are seeking God, whatever be your prayer request that you've been waiting upon him, this is the message that God has for you. That be expectant. Because with him on your side, with Emmanuel, it has surely be accomplished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So with God on our side, he will finish the task successfully. Amen. And your heart will be fulfilled. When something is accomplished, it means that it has fulfilled also a request that one has put before God. Hallelujah. Amen. This year during the Christmas convention, there was a prophecy. And the prophecy, there were two prophecies that I wrote down. The first one says that God said, I, the Lord, will reveal my mysteries to those who wait on me. Your eyes will see what I have promised to do in my church. It went on by saying that my eyes is upon my church. And you shall have many testimonies. The lame will walk. The blind shall see. And your joy will be fulfilled in me. When God gave us this word, I wrote it down. Because before he gave us the team for this year, that the, the child's name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. I was seeking before God and God said that as long as you remain in me, I am able to do all things. And so when this prophecy came, God said that my eyes is upon my church. When we talk about the church of God, it's not the building. It is you and I. Therefore, God wants to assure you that the coming year, his eyes is upon you. Amen. If God is on our side, who can be against us? He is the almighty God. He creates something out of nothing. And therefore, if he is telling us tonight that we should expect that this year, 2016, as long as we remain in him, he said that what he has started in your life, he is going to complete it. Amen. Not just me completed it, but he said complete it successfully. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May you receive this prophetic message. Amen. With God on our side, it shall be accomplished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There was another prophecy during the convention. And that one saying that God said, it is my word that creates. The word of God can create. When we talk about creation, is bringing forth something out of nothing. One can make something. If you add, um, you have some rice, and you add some steel and a little bit salt and pepper, you can make jollof rice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, you can make jollof rice. But when you talk about creation, it is something that can come out without anything, without anybody's help. And so when God wanted to create heaven and earth and all that is in it, all that he did was pronounce and he came to existence. God can create something new in your life. Maybe you have worked with your own strength towards it and it seems that nothing is happening. God is assuring you tonight that expect that the coming year 2017, just trust in him, just remain in him, just be with him. And as long as we are in him, he will accomplish the task. Amen. I don't know the task that we are facing in life. Is it sickness? Is it something that is going out of your hands? Beloved, be of good cheer. And just expect that God says this year, what he has started in your life, he is going to complete it. He is going to complete it successfully. When one finish a task successfully, there is a reward. And it fulfilled what the person desires for. So what God is going to do, what he is going to accomplish, it will bring fulfillment. It will bring joy. It will bring happiness. And
and above all, it will be a sign that people will look at your life and ascend, uh, ascribe all greatness unto this great God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he gave us that prophecy that is by his word that creates. He said, and the word creates and perform. The word restore and provide. It is my prayer that may this God provide all your heart desires in the coming year. Is there anything that has gone out of your hands this year? We have so many testimonies. People testifying that it has not been easy. And during the convention, there was one of the messages that God said we should put a bag on the word. It is not easy. Because with him, all things are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe it has not been easy with you up until now. But beloved, I want to assure you that the God that he's speaking to us is faithful. Amen. He is faithful. And whatever he has said, he is more than able to fulfill it. Therefore, just rest assured and trust in him. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophecy continues and says that be receptive to my word. And I, the Lord, will bring people from far and near to come and ask of your knowledge. And he said, abide in my word, for it is the power for your success. Amen. Hallelujah. Abide in the word of God. After sharing this message with you, my prayer is that after we are all here, many of us, maybe it's the first time you are coming here, or maybe this year you have not been regular in God's presence. I want to encourage you to take your Christian life very seriously in this coming year. Because as long as we draw closer to him, he will draw near to us. And as long as he is with us, we are more than conquerors. There will be so many difficulties you know, that we may face in life. But remember, as long as Emmanuel is with us, that river cannot sweep us away. We may be thrown into the very fire, but we shall not be consumed because he is with us. I pray that may God deliver us Amen. even in such a time. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when God gave us all this assurance, I was waiting and said, God, what do you have for your people in the coming year? And he gave us this scripture that we have just read. And I want us to go back and read from verse 10 of Isaiah 55. Verse 10 says that for as the rain comes down and the snow from snow from heaven and do not return. We all know here we know about snow. It's a season time. Hallelujah. May this year be your season time. Amen. We count our days from January, February. Whenever uh, after November, we expect that the weather is going to change and snow can fall. God is saying that in season, he is going to accomplish that task. He said, as the snow falls down and the rain also comes down, nobody can stop the rain. With all the techn uh, technology that we have these days, I have not heard that there is a city that prevents God to shower um, rain or to stop rain coming down. I have never seen that. Maybe... So God is saying that what he is going to do, he said, as long as the rain, when God wants to, um, when it's about to rain, no one can stop it. And so God is trying to say that what he is about to do, no one can stop what he wants to do in your life. And therefore, it shall surely be accomplished. Expect that rain. It's the rain that brings fruitfulness. When the land is scarce, what we see that there was a drought. In the Old Testament, when there is no rain, the people suffer. God is saying that as long as he allowed the rain to fall down, he will allow his purpose concerning your life be fulfilled. As human beings cannot stop the rain, no one can stop the blessings that God has for you. Hallelujah. So as long as it rains and the rain falls down on this very earth, this 2017, expect that no one can stop your blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The rain comes down and water the earth and make it bring forth the bud. When the rain waters the earth, the flowers and everything on the earth be, uh, becomes blossom. 
becomes beautiful. So God is saying that he's going to shower his blessings upon your life. And you shall be blessed. People will look at you and see the beauty of God in your life. And all these things, remember, will happen as long as you remain in him. Don't let tonight be a one night wonder. Now after the 31st, you live your life anyhow. Just remain in him. As long as we remain in him, what he has started in our life, he will surely bring it to a successful end. Hallelujah. And he said that when the rain waters the earth, it, it gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Hallelujah. One may have bread, but may not have the seed. If you only have the bread, you can consume it and your basket becomes empty. But when you have the seed, you will sow and you shall reap in a hundredfold. God is saying that this year, 2017, you are not just going to enjoy the fruit of your labor, but he is going to entrust in your hands the seed. The seed. The seed. Seed to sow. Seed to sow. As long as you have the seed, you will not go hungry. You will sow in a season time and you shall reap in a hundred fold. So this year, your basket will always be full. He said that when the rain falls down, it, 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 it causes the earth to produce. May we produce in this year 2017. Maybe you are struggling in life for many years. But if you faithfully receive this word of God, he is going to entrust in your hands the seed. Not only the bread, but the seed. The seed that you will sow. When one half is the seed, his or her descendants will come and enjoy the seed. Many a time people can only have the bread. And if you are enjoying in your generation, the next generation will come and you will find nothing. But if you have the seed, you have the seed. I remember back home that dream and the harvest time. Our fathers will, will, will plant and they will harvest. And they make sure that as we consume what they have harvest, they put some of the seed elsewhere. Hallelujah. So God is saying that your basket will not only be full for today, but you will have, you will have food for tomorrow. May it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. And so you shall have the bread and the seed. Verse 11. It said, with this, so shall my word be that goes from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. The word of God that you are receiving tonight, it shall not return back unto God void. Because when the rain falls the ground, it performs something. And God said that as the word coming direct to you, it is going to accomplish a task in your life. It's going to accomplish a task and not only completing it, but it shall complete it successfully. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This word will not return to him more. Amen. And this year, your eyes will see Amen. what the Lord is about Amen. to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said that but it shall accomplish what I please. It's the heart fell of God for us, all of us, to live a life that pleases him. When children of God obey him and they live a righteous life, it makes him happy. And he said that his word that he's given us, it will accomplish a task in our life. Isaiah was given this prophecy when the people of Israel were in captivity in Babylon. But when you study this chapter very well, you see that he was talking about the Messiah to come. Hallelujah. And in our days, this prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> and so the Messiah, when Messiah comes, he will teach us the things that we need to do so that God will be happy with us. And so this year, as we draw closer to God and we obey his word, heavens will be rejoice. Amen. Because of you, heavens will rejoice. Amen. And when a parent is happy, it's very easy for that parent to give that child something. We are all parents. When our child perform, when our children perform, um, uh, perform very well, it makes us happy. 
and out of joy we reward them. So God is saying that his word has come to us. He is going to perform a task in our lives and he will see us and he will be pleased. May God find you worthy in this coming year 2017. When you read further, I said, and they shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it for. Which means that the word that God has sent is coming to perform a specific task. There is something that God is expecting to happen in our lives. And therefore, until that thing is done, God will not be happy. And because he wants to rejoice on our behalf, he will make sure that the power in his name will cause these things to happen, to be fulfilled. The accomplishment of that task will be a fulfillment of what God has said concerning our lives. You see, when Jesus was being crucified, the people who were killing him thought that they were just, you know, killing someone. But little did they know that what they were doing was causing a prophecy that had been said many years back to be fulfilled. Are you with me? So what God is trying to tell us is that the coming year, maybe you might go through some challenges, but as long as Emmanuel is with you, don't give up. Because people may think that they are doing things to harm you. People may think that they are saying certain things to disgrace you. But God is saying that as long as I am with you, he will use those people to fulfill my promise concerning your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is going to use that negative things of the world to perform great things in your life. Amen. Therefore, when you are going through difficulties in this coming year, don't give up. Amen. Just remain in Him. You may see so many things happening in your life, but always remember this word. God will use even your enemies. He will use your enemies to fulfill the promises that he's given you today. Hallelujah. Because that is what pleases God. Verse 12. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. We see, he said that you shall go out. When someone is going out, that, was the, that time the people of Israel were in captivity. And God is saying that you shall go out. You will be set free. Hallelujah. Amen. And when that time comes, the people of God were set free. And he said that, and you will be let out in peace. It means that when the Messiah comes, he will lead us. Hallelujah. Amen. If any treasure of yours, if anything that belongs to you, if the enemy has kept anything that belongs to you in captivity, God is saying that the power in his word will set that thing free. If your life is in captivity, if your finances, your children, if there is anything that belongs to you, if the enemy have kept any of these things in captivity, God is saying that you shall go out. In joy, when he said the people of God out of Egypt, they went out and they were singing praises. Hallelujah. And so God is saying that he is going to set us out with joy. And as we go out from the hands of the enemy, then his spirit will lead us in peace. Hallelujah. May the spirit of God this coming year, may the spirit of God lead you in all your ways. He will lead you in peace. Our God, he is not like the, um, our, our, um, the enemy who will torment our life. When he lead us, he lead us in peace. May God lead you in peace. He comfort us with his rod. When the shepherd raised his rod, the, the, the sheep runs away because the rod can hit the sheep. But he's saying that your rod comfort me. Hallelujah. So when the spirit of God is leading you, his rod will not harm you. When you are going astray, he will use that rod to bring you closer. It is my prayer 2017. May God br bring you closer to him. He will bring you closer Amen. unto the Lord. He will lead us in peace. Martin King's district. God is saying that he will lead us in peace. Amen. With God on our side, we shall sing praises unto his holy name. Hallelujah. So we shall go out with joy and God will lead us with peace. 
May his spirit lead us even in this dark world in this coming year. And he continue by saying that the mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. What God is about to do in our life, people will hear about it. Amen. And it shall be praises. Amen. It shall be praises. Amen. You yourself, you will sing Amen. praises. You will go into your closet and you look around you and when you see what the Lord has done, you will burst out and sing praises unto His Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And people around you also will join you. In 2016, all your sorrow has been pain and sorrow. God is saying that he is going to accomplish that task. That this year coming 2017, you shall sing his praises. You shall lift your hands and praise his holy name. The tears is gone. The pain will come no more. The sorrow will not come near you. That disgrace will not come near you. But you will look around you and you shall see the glory of God upon your life. But in case we shall see the glory of God upon our life. And we shall sing praises into his holy name. May it come to pass in the name of Jesus. The mountains and the trees singing praises. So your praises, it's not, it's not going to be only you. The people around you. Even your enemies. Even your enemies. Those who are looking for your downfall. 2007, they will see you. That your God has elevated you. And they will look at you and give glory unto God. It is my prayer that your family will sing praises. The church of God will sing praises. We sing praises. We sing praises. The mountains will sing praises. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not see any soul. But remember the condition. As long as we remain in Him. Hallelujah. Amen. The pain that you went through last year. This year 2016. Those Egyptians. You shall see no more. So you shall see no more. Amen. Look at the picture. When the people of Israel came before the Red Sea. They looked back and they saw their enemies coming. On the left there was a cliff. There was nowhere for them to go. But this same God. Oh, I said this same God. I said this same God. Oh, this same God. He told Moses what is in your hand. And Moses said I have nothing but only this wrong. God, if God wants to do something. He is not required of you to do anything. Because he can create something out of nothing. So Moses maybe was telling God. Where will be that boat? Because for us to cross this West Sea. We need a boat. In 2017. God is going to do something spectacular in your life. He is going to accomplish. And so the people of Israel were before the Red Sea. And they didn't know what to do. And God said, Moses, what is in your hand? And he said, it is this rod. That rod is Christ Jesus. There will be a rest in your life. But remember, you have something in your hands. Our sister will give the testimony. Your mom will not die. Because her life is in Christ Jesus. Her life is hidden with Christ in, 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 Christ, in Christ Jesus. Therefore, he, she will not die. She will not die. So Moses said, I have only this road. And God said, just lift it up. It is my prayer. That banner is Christ Jesus. In times of trouble, so remember this year. Just lift the name of Jesus. And say, God, I have nobody without you. It's only you. It is only you. And when you lift the name of Jesus, that mountain shall be removed. Hallelujah. And when it came to a time that the, the Red Sea was divided, and the people of Israel walked through that dry land. Their enemies were following them. Your enemies will follow you. Amen. But those that you see, you will see them no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when they turned around, they saw that all their enemy had drowned. And at that end, they sang praises. Amen. You will sing praises. Amen. Because of what the Lord is about to do. Amen. This year be expectant. Just expect that this God is faithful. And he's more than able to do what he's promising you tonight. This message is for nobody but you and I. Hold on to God's word. He said that he is going to make a way where we see there is no way to glorify his holy name. Hallelujah. And he read, when you read further, it talks about the, the, the thorns. You will not see the thorns anymore. The thorn of the flesh. Many a times some things happen in our lives. And you've seen that you are burning out. This coming year. 
He will build a shield around you. Amen. He will cover your children. Amen. The fire may be burning, but you will walk through it because you are with Emmanuel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That dry land will tend to become a fertile land. It is my prayer that may God change our lives. And he said, when you read to the end, he said, for an everlasting sign that shall be. No, when we read before that, he said, and instead of bearer shall come up the mighty tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name. The last Wednesday that we came here, there was a message that God spoke to us. He said that what he is going to do is for his own glory. What God is about to do in your life in this coming year. Remember, don't assign the glory to any man. Remember this God who has promised you. And just give glory unto his holy name. For his name's sake, he will surely accomplish. 2017, Emmanuel will accomplish. As long as he is on our side, it shall be accomplished. Your tax is it diseases. <laughs> Is it losing your job? Is it seeking God for your future passing? Is it concerning your children? Is it concerning your, your, your even your Christian life? Whatever the task may be, God is saying tonight that with the Emmanuel, it shall be accomplished. May God complete this task. Not just only completing it, but he said it shall be complete successfully. Oh, hallelujah. If it is an exam, you will come out with an A stars in this coming year. Whatever be your heart desire, God is going to do it. It is not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. We are about to enter 2017. Hold on to this message. With God on our side, it shall be accomplished. It shall be accomplished. The sickness, all the diseases, the pain, the sorrow, whatever be the task, our God is able to set us free. It shall be accomplished. You will have a testimony. Your people will rejoice with you. People will give glory unto God. For his name's sake, he will do it. He will do it to glorify his holy name. Please be on your feet at this very time. Hallelujah. It's not by mind. It's not by power. Oh, by my spirit.
Yana, as a son, a person, yet two nominated some. I'm saying, no, no, Obina, ready to say, Obeba. Last year, said Afino, Yam Fight, and Yedikan, and Kuchia Bill, and Manel Fahu. You will be here, said Nyo Biano, you will be here, as simple as that. In terms of Obiba, and Jen, why ready to say, Obeba, we are Obiano, Father Chu, Yanya, why not yet to me so, sir? As I bet I perceive here and temper. And you have been a be our be an hour for you. But who will be the one you and can be a be our people of a bar? Aha, for the truth, not to perform any near to me and you will see.
Every eye closed, can we please lift?